Nine Home Remedies for Chafing Thighs. Hey everyone, Rob here from Remedies Insider and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you nine home remedies for, yes, those dreaded chafing thighs. So without further ado, if you're ready, let's go. Chafing is a word or term used to describe skin rashes that are formed due to friction. Whether you got soaked in the rain or simply sweated it out in a pair of body huggy shorts, you may or you might have experienced a terrible discomfort that a chafing rash can cause. But before you throw in the towel, there is good news. You can quickly prevent a chafing rash and treat it too. So here are nine home remedies for chafing thighs that will help soothe and ease your pain. Number one, aloe vera. Aloe vera works great and helps speed up the healing process of skin wounds. And this is why it works so well when treating chafing thighs. The anti-inflammatory property that's in aloe gel will help aid in the healing. So all you'll need for this remedy is one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. It can be fresh or store-bought in a bottle. Then apply the aloe vera gel evenly to the chafed area and leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes until the skin actually absorbs it. After 20 to 30 minutes or until your skin absorbs it, you can rinse it off with warm or cool water. Number two, olive oil. Olive oil is another powerful all-natural antioxidant that will help speed up the healing process of your chafing thighs. For this one, you're going to need one tablespoon of virgin olive oil. Then you want to simply put a little bit of olive oil in the palm of your hands and then gently massage the olive oil where your chafing rash is. You want to leave this on for 30 minutes or more and then simply wash off with lukewarm water. Now for even better results, you can also apply olive oil to your affected chafing area at night before you actually go to bed. Number three, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. Vaseline works great and keeps your skin well moisturized. It also forms a protective layer on the skin and helps prevent further infection from spreading. And of course, for this remedy, you're gonna need Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And then you want to take a little Vaseline and apply it to the affected area where your chafing is. After applying it, leave it on until the skin absorbs it and then reapply as necessary. Number four, coconut oil. Coconut oil has medium chain fatty acids and will help keep your skin lubricated and relieve inflammation and swelling. And for this remedy, you're going to need one tablespoon of virgin coconut oil and simply take a little coconut oil, put it in the palm of your hands, and massage and spread it over the affected chafing area. Now, with coconut oil, you wanna allow it to dry on its own after you apply it. You can repeat and reapply the coconut oil as much as you see need to. Number five, Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt is rich in magnesium, and this is why it works so well when treating inflammation, and it also helps with the symptoms of chafing. For this one, you're going to need one cup of Epsom salt and some water. This one's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is add a cup of Epsom salt to a tub of water. And then make sure that you mix it well so that the Epsom salt dissolves. And then you soak in the tub for 20 to 30 minutes. After 20 to 30 minutes of soaking, simply get out and pat yourself dry. You can also soak in an Epsom salt bath before bed. This does two things, helps with your chafing and it relaxes you a little bit. Number six, oatmeal bath. Oatmeal is an excellent anti-inflammatory and the anti-rich action of oatmeal works wonders for healing chafing. You will need one to two cups of oatmeal and some water for this home remedy. First, you wanna draw a nice warm bath and simply add one to two cups of oatmeal to your bath. And then all you have to do is soak in the tub for 20 to 30 minutes and relax. Afterwards, simply get out and pat yourself dry. And you can take an oatmeal bath two to three times a week or more if you have to. Number seven, turmeric. The curcumin in turmeric will help treat chafed skin. And with its anti-inflammatory properties, it works great. 
So for this one, you're going to need two teaspoons of turmeric powder and some water. And then simply mix the two teaspoons of turmeric with enough water to form a thick paste. After mixing a nice thick paste, simply take some paste and rub it over the chafed area. Allow it to dry for about 30 minutes before rinsing it off. You can repeat this several times during the day or as much as you see necessary to. Number eight, cornstarch. Cornstarch works well for keeping your skin dry and sweat free. Cornstarch is very effective when your chafing is from sweating or moisture. And for this home remedy, of course, you're gonna need cornstarch. And then all you need to do is sprinkle or rub a little cornstarch to the moist affected areas where your chafing is. And for some added protection, you can also apply a layer of Vaseline over the cornstarch. Let it all soak in and you can repeat this as much as you need to. And number nine, baking soda. Now you know that we couldn't have ended this video without using baking soda as one of the home remedies and it plays a very big role in treating a chafing rash. First, baking soda is alkaline in nature and helps restore your skin's pH and accelerates healing. And secondly, baking soda is a natural antiseptic that can help prevent further skin infections like chafing from happening. For this remedy, you're gonna need two teaspoons of baking soda and some water. And then all you need to do is mix some baking soda in with a little bit of water and form a nice consistent thick paste. After creating your baking soda paste, simply apply it to your chafing rash. And you wanna leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes and then simply rinse off with warm or lukewarm water. You can do this method multiple times daily or a few times over the course of a week. You be the judge, you know your rash better than anybody else. Okay, well, that's all I got for today, and I hope you enjoyed today's video on nine home remedies for chafing thighs. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment, head on over to our blog, and get your free A to Z complete home remedy guide with over 2,000 plus homemade and natural remedies. It's 100% free. I know you're going to enjoy it. So if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends as this helps us out a lot here at Remedies Insider and it also helps us with that YouTube algorithm. And as always, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to subscribe and tick that bell notification so you can be notified when I release a video. I am uploading three videos a week now. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for making it to the end and watching. I'm Rob from Remedies Insider. Have a great day or night. Take care and God bless.